after learning the terminology about uh, environmental chemistry as a previous discussion, now we are moving into the details of the pollution. Let us move to the environmental pollution. What does it mean? The environmental pollution is the effect of undesirable change in our surroundings that have harmful effects on plants, animals and human beings. This is what you can say as environmental pollution. Pollutant can be a solid, can be a liquid or can be a gaseous particle or substance rather and uh, it is present in the greater concentrations than the desirable levels, natural levels. So, if the concentrations are more than natural abundance, they will become into a pollution, they will become into a pollutant and it, it will be there in the environment and causes the pollution which will cause the human uh, which will affect the human activities and it cause adverse effects in the uh, uh, environment and also on the natural happenings. So, that is what uh, the environmental pollution is now more concerned about this. So, it can be a solid, it can be a liquid, it can be a gaseous substance. Environmental pollution can be caused by either a solid or a liquid or gaseous substances. If they are exceeding their concentrations in the environment, they cause pollution, they cause harmful effects. Now, let us see example over here. Substances like dichloro, diphenyl, trichloro, ethane, it is called DDT. This is called DDT. It is nothing but expanded form is dichloro, diphenyl, trichloro, ethane. The abbreviation we can take it as DDT and uh, it is it is a pollutant. Substances like DDT, plastic materials, heavy metals and many chemicals in the nuclear reactors, waste in the nuclear reactors etcetera are released into uh, environment and uh, which are difficult to remove from the atmosphere and they will remain as a environmental uh, pollution, they will remain as a environmental pollution. Let us see now about DDT. It is a chlorinated compound, it is having a structure like this, structure of DDT, dichloro, diphenyl, trichloro, ethane. Okay. Let us take two phenyl groups, this is a chlorophenyl group attached to two carbons and uh, another phenyl group having chlorine group on it. So, this is dichloro, diphenyl, then trichloro, this is trichloro and uh, ethane, two carbons are there. This is what you can understand as a DDT structure. This dichloro, diphenyl, trichloro, ethane is a pollutant and it is a chlorinated compound and this chlorinated compound dichloro, diphenyl, trichloro, ethane, okay, it is causing lot of uh, pollution in the atmosphere okay. and uh, this, this dichloro diphenyl trichloro ethane stays in the atmosphere for a long period of time and uh, this chlorine present in the, in the DDT compound is not going to be easily eliminated from the atmosphere. So, it causes the pollution that is the reason nowadays we are using uh, different chlorinated compounds for this same purpose instead of using DDTs. That is what uh, we are making the environment, okay, uh, we are reducing the environmental pollution uh, from this kind of uh, uh, materials or I can say pollutants. Okay. 